Hello everybody and welcome back to the Socha Valley. I say welcome back, I don't think I've done any filming here so far this week and this is our last day which which isn't great but uh, I was here 18 months ago with Andrew and uh, because I loved it so much then we've decided to come back and uh, and spend a few days here. Uh, this video is sponsored by Lumix and for the past two weeks or so I've been making my videos with the G90. Now if you follow this channel for a while you'll know that for two years or so I used its predecessor the G80 or the G85 and uh, well I loved it and I loved the G90 even more and today what I thought I'd do is go through some of my settings and stuff and and how I sort of vlog and, and plan vlogs when I do plan vlogs I mean a lot of the time as you'll know it doesn't seem like I plan vlogs and therefore um, well they end up with with some mistakes in them. Now the, uh, the lens isn't fogged up, that's, that's actual nice mist on the, uh, on the river. Right then, first things first, planning. Now I use two different tools for planning. The first is a notebook, together with a pencil, and the second is Evernote, the app called Evernote, which I use on my phone and my computer. Now there are two different kinds of videos. The first is vlogs, which I don't do any planning for at all. I don't write any notes, because the nature of a vlog is that you don't know what's going to happen in the day. And the, uh, the skill with that is to try and work out what the story is as the story is unfolding, which is quite a difficult thing to do. The second type of video I make is the kind of premeditated, uh, subject-driven kind of video where I'm talking about a specific things, sometimes at home, sometimes out in the, uh, out the field. And that, I write some notes for. Now, I never write scripts or work with scripts because I, I couldn't possibly remember paragraph after paragraph of words. And I mean, I'm quite sure that that's, that's probably quite obvious if, uh, if you've watched many of my videos before. I mean, a lot of my points kind of turn into rambles that take very strange indirect routes. In fact, I think that's considered very good. I probably should have looked that up before I started banging on about dynamic range. Uh, so we're meeting people like the florist. I have no idea how useful I'll be in meetings like that, but uh, you never know. Sadly, I was on spaghetti duty, so I basically just had to dash out as fast as I could when I saw the moon to get one shot. That's the two kind of videos I make. Also, uh, you may recognise some of the stuff that's in these pages uh, by this time next year. A lot sooner than this time next year, to be honest, about three or four months' time. Because I'm going to print some of the pages that appear in this, this notebook in, uh, in the next book, because some of them are, are maybe quite interesting and um, insightful in some ways. I'll, um, I'll find somewhere quieter. Right then, any uh, geologists might be able to help us out. We've got a, an offshoot or a, a stream of the river here, which is not blue. And then over here where it meets the main river, it, uh, it goes blue again. I don't actually know if you can see that on camera, but weird. Blue, brown. Worse than Emily with signs. Trout for tea, is it? You're gonna catch it. Bare hands. Right then, folks, so this is my go-to uh, vlogging setup. Not this, actually, this. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, the G90 is there, and uh, around the G90 are a few things that aren't really permanent fixtures, if I'm honest. So the uh, the Joby, the Gorillapod, the 3K, I think that is, the Gorillapod, uh, that is, is a really good Gorillapod, but I don't use it all the time. Typically, I switch it around a little bit with, uh, well... This three-legged thing, Brian, that's on my G9, which is recording the G90 at the moment. And I use this... Well, 99% of the time for video, basically. I, uh, I very rarely use it for stills. In fact, I hardly ever use a tripod for stills, as many of you will know. Uh, on top of the G90 currently is a Video Mic Go, and I'm using that because my Rode uh, Video Mic Pro is on top of the G9 and is slightly broken, and my Video Mic Pro Plus is broken entirely. In fact, all three, four, maybe even five road products that I've ever had 
have in some way broken. All of them that I use, including that one, have been shotgun mics, and I'm not exactly sure that I'd recommend using shotgun mics, if I'm completely honest, because, uh, well, they only really pick up what's in front of you, which is fine for some stuff, but not ideal when you're trying to speak to other people or you're trying to talk into the camera, but you're behind the camera. There's all kinds of times when a, a shotgun mic is not completely ideal, so I'm currently looking into uh, how I approach sound a, a bit closer. Also, the lens currently on the G90 is the, uh, the kit lens that comes with the camera, which is the 12 to 60. Perfectly fine lens, nice and light, really sharp, and uh, has a really versatile zoom range. 12 to 60, full frame equivalent is 24 to 120. So that covers pretty much all the focal lengths that I ever need uh, for vlogging, apart from at the wide end. The only time I ever really change this lens off of the G90 is when I need to go wider. And uh, that's sometimes when I'm doing sort of face to camera stuff where I wanna show more of the scene. And uh, well, I'll, I'll demonstrate that now. So uh, this is 12 mil or 24 mil full frame equivalent handheld and this, is eight or 16 full frame equivalent, which when you've got nice stuff around you is, is just a bit nicer to uh, vlog with. Uh, right, settings. Uh, I don't do anything particularly special with settings, to be honest. I mean, I have it set up fully manually and uh, that's just because I, I find it easier to work with. Um, I shoot at 25 frames per second in 1080p. I've really got no interest at the moment in 4K because I mean, people talk about future-proofing videos and stuff, but I just, I think 1080p is, is still gonna be fine in five years time. And if people are watching five-year-old videos, then um, well, I'm not making interesting enough videos in five years time. I'm not 100% sure on my logic, to be honest. I mean, I could be wrong, but I, I prefer to avoid the faff of uh, certainly post-production with 4K. Uh, so yeah, 1080p, 25 frames per second, and uh, that means that I shoot typically with a shutter speed of a 50th of a second. Uh, now, a lot of the time people tell me that they really like my color grading in my videos, which is a compliment to the camera, really, because I, I don't touch any grading in post-processing. I just, I just use what's out the camera, cut it all together, and that's the video. I don't, I don't touch any color or anything, so that's nice to hear. Um, I've got the front dial set up for aperture, so that's what deals with my exposure. As you can see at the moment, I've got a, an ND4 on front of my lens, so uh, sometimes I need to adjust the exposure, particularly on days like this, when uh, you're walking in between cloud and, and bright sun and stuff, so I do that. You might not know if you've not shot much video before, but it's really important, unlike with stills, that you don't use auto white balance because it can change during a clip and that's really difficult to change in, in post-processing. So that's a mistake that I made early on and I've made a few times since then, to be honest. Now, as I think I've said before with this camera, one of the really nice additions, one of my favorite additions to the G90 is that there's an ISO button alongside a white balance button on top of the camera, which means that I have another option for uh, changing or adjusting the exposure uh, without having to dig into even the quick menu. Uh, and that's pretty much it, I think, for settings. The reason that I shoot at 25 frames per second and not um, 50 frames per second is because I don't really do that much slow-mo. So uh, I just find that it's, it's easier to shoot at 25. When I do want slow-mo, particularly on this, the G90, or in fact the G9, I go into the, uh, the high-speed modes and uh, I record slow-mo in a dedicated function that uh, doesn't also record the sound, which I wouldn't need if I was gonna use the, the slow-mo. So typically I shoot slow-mo on this at 100 frames a second, which is four times slow motion and uh, that's very good. Oh, manual focus. I, uh, I focus manually for pretty much all of my vlogs and that's because uh, I never really change the distance between what I'm filming and the camera in shot. So for example, when I'm vlogging, like talking to the camera like this, I always stay the same distance from the camera because I'm holding the camera and therefore it's easiest just to manual focus. Obviously I could use things like face detect, which would do a brilliant job on this camera, but if I was gonna do that and I really quickly wanted to grab some B-roll that didn't involve any people, then the camera might get a bit confused. It's just easier to keep it in manual focus. Particularly considering that most of these vlogs are shot at sort of F8 or F11 or something around there. So particularly with micro four thirds, pretty much everything is in focus, particularly at the wider focal lengths. And that obviously carries with it a lot of the same features that I fell in love with on the G80. So obviously it's got a, a flip out screen, a mount for your mic, incredible stabilization, which works particularly well with lenses that are, uh, are prepped for the dual stabilization, which this is, and uh, all packaged in a light, but rugged body. Some people, when they spend time with me, can't really believe how I treat my cameras. I'll sort of just put them on the floor and go and get another one and play around with lenses and stuff. And they, they think I'm being, uh, What's the word? Careless, maybe. 
But in actual fact, I just, I trust the build quality of these cameras. Like I said, I had the, the G80 two years and made hundreds of videos with it, took it all over the world, and it's still absolutely fine. And I'd expect nothing less from this either. Um, so yeah, in a nutshell, that's, that's my settings. Like I said, I've, I've got to do some more research on, on sound because I'm, I'm not convinced that shotgun mics are the, the way to go for, for everything. Well, I've not really taken many photos today, which seems a, a strange thing to say of a place like this because it's incredibly picturesque, but I've not, just not found many things to, to take photos of today, which is weird. Nice lunch though. Same lunch as we, um, we've had pretty much every day on this trip, isn't it? Ham, cheese, and tomato sandwiches. Very nice. It's fine though, because the uh, the tomatoes are Italian, i.e. the best tomatoes in the world. It's gone quite dark. Uh, because I've not taken many photos today, here's a selection of photos I took yesterday when we went up the Virasic Pass and uh, towards Lake Bled. Because uh, up there, autumn is is on. And thanks to the magic of air travel, and a couple of weeks to be honest, I'm, uh, I'm now home. Which you would have known if you've watched any of the other recent videos because they've not really been in order. Anyway, hopefully that was useful and uh, if you've got any questions about making videos like that or videos like you've seen of mine, then uh, do let me know because hopefully I'll be able to help. I would be the first to admit that I'm not really a, um, a filmmaker. I mean, I don't really think I've done anything cinematic in my life. But these kinds of vlogs and videos, I've spent a couple of years making them. I feel like I've got the hang of them now and I feel like I'm able to offer some, some tips and tricks on them. And uh, hopefully I've communicated a couple of those in this video. Uh, as for video editing, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. I always have, uh, ever since I started editing videos. And that was because I was using uh, Lightroom and Photoshop before that. And I kind of just assumed that there would be quite a bit of crossover between those programs and an Adobe uh, video editing program. And there's not really, so I've been told countless times that because I use Macs, I should uh, try out Final Cut. And I just haven't got around to it yet. I will do it at some point, but I really don't like video editing that much. And therefore, I um, I mean, it just feels like a bit of a kick in the teeth to, to have to learn another video editing program, but I will at some point. For now, Premiere Pro is absolutely fine. Um, yeah, but as I say, if you've got any questions about the process of making videos and vlogs, do let me know and I'll, I'll do my best to answer. Uh, thank you very much to Lumix for sponsoring this video and for coming out with the G90. It's perfect for the kind of videos that I make and I love it. And uh, thank you to you for watching. I'll, uh, I'll see you next time when I'll probably be back to, to talking about photography as opposed to videos, which I think I'm a bit better at.